What is up, YouTube tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench, and we have the month of May's belated Inside Track Club coupons. It is Cinco de Mayo, and for some reason, I'm just not seeing the May coupons hit the website. I've been keeping an eye out. I don't know why they were delayed. Other people seem to have got them on time. Not me. So let's just get right on into these. As you know, I moved through these coupons rather quickly. I cannot comment on every single tool or coupon there is. If you see one you want, pause the video, take a screenshot. You can use it in the store. If you're a member, that is. If you're not, you can still try to use these coupons in the store. It's just totally up to the cashier whether she notices if your Inside Track Club membership is up to date or not. The computer system won't catch it, so you can sometimes get one to slide through. And we do have one of their Admiral saw blades. This is a 12 inch 60 tooth. Now I haven't used a 12 inch, but I've used the 10 inch Admiral blades just cause I was curious about them and I was not impressed. Uh, one thing I don't think you can cheap out on is saw blades, any kind of cutting instrument. Just go ahead and spend the money, get you a Diablo or some equivalent to that or better. And you'll be much, much happier. It's definitely worth the extra cost. And that's a very cheap person telling you that right now we have the portable pocket hole jig now i've heard good things about this jig but one thing i don't like is at 54.99 you'll get a better deal if you just use a normal 20 percent off coupon that would get your price down to around 51 dollars. so you gotta watch harbor freight with things like that they oftentimes will sneak in coupons that are not as good as savings as if you just use one of their 20 percent off coupons if it's not on an excluded item of course and that drill master brand is definitely not an excluded brand so that's also why every month mid-month i make my best coupons of harbor freight videos where i show you only items that will save you 30 percent or more we kind of cut through all this coupon nonsense or at least i try to for you guys that way you can see which coupons are truly good savings which ones to wait on i also have a section in there that shows you coupons for excluded items they may not save you 30 percent but they're excluded from the 20% off coupon. So really anything you get for an item like that is going to be a pretty good deal. And I did forget to mention that all of these coupons for April and May, even though they may have an expiration date for April or May, are good till June 30th. Due to the current situation going on, Eric Schmidt put out a statement saying that all these coupons are good till June 30th. That way nobody has to rush out to the stores to get what they want. Like that seven piece hook and pick set right there, the black handle ones. I really like that set and it's almost a 50% off coupon. The larger hooks and picks really come in handy once you get them in your shop. You'll be surprised how often you're reaching for them. You got the three piece stubby ratchet set. Now these are flex set. I've seen a lot of people use them. I've picked them up in the store and even though I do like Harbor Freight ratchets, these just don't feel like the same quality to me. So I've always shied away from them. So if you have experience with those ratchets there, let some people know in the comments. Let me know if they're worth picking up. Also, you got a 12 inch disc sander just running off the screen now for 150. Seems like an okay deal, but a disc sander is an incredibly easy tool to make. You get you a threaded arbor adapter, slap you on a disc. I've made them in seconds. They're really, really simple, and you can salvage electric motors from almost everything. I mean, if you really look around, you'd be surprised how much stuff runs with a simple electric motor in our society today. They're everywhere. You just got to know how to salvage them. And if you don't know anything about induction motors or the variety of electric motors out there, get on YouTube. There's plenty of people out there that will teach you everything you need to know. These little electrical terminal connection kits, I love having those kits in my shop. They're not the most high quality terminals, but to have them in your shop when you need them is a lifesaver. You got the little four pound dead blow hammer there. The dead blow hammer made my list for one of my top five favorite hand tools from Harbor Freight, which if you don't know, I'm still in the middle of putting out a series of video that go through my top five favorite hand tools, power tools, shop supplies, and will culminate in my worst tools I've ever bought from Harbor Freight. So currently right now, the power tool and hand tool videos are both out, but I'm still working on the shop supplies and the worst tool videos. Those will be out as they come out every Tuesday, new video will come out, right? The uh, little air needler, we used to have a bunch of those at work and I guess we still do, I just don't work there anymore due to the, the situation, really more the oil climate. But what I was gonna say was they've served us well there. They're, it's a pretty good tool that Harbor Freight sells 
with their new mag tools there's always a chance you'll get a dud just like with their die grinders it'll either last you 10 minutes or 10 years is what i say so if you get a bad one don't be afraid to take it back it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but once you get that good one, it will serve you well. You got the router bit set coming up. is a great starter set. They're not the best router bits in the world. You're going to need, just like with the Forstner bits, a way to sharpen them, which I recommend the diamond files. Now, I have a full review of the black set, in which in that review I compared the black set to the blue set to show you which one might suit your needs better. I went with the black colored set. Uh, I can't remember exactly what bits were different but there was a reason and if you go watch that video i tell you my reason it's just been so long ago i can't remember it right now now if you do need those router bits that probably means you do some sort of woodworking carpentry in which dust collection is a vital part of that if you're in a shop and this dust collection set here is probably one of the best deals at harbor freight if you piece out these items individually on amazon you're going to spend well over 50 dollars. now i can't tell you the quality of it because i haven't used them I just know from piecing together my own dust collection system from Amazon, I've spent well over 50 bucks. But the problem I kept running into was every Harbor Freight I had near me didn't carry that dust collection set. So I, I don't know why I've asked about it. Some stores didn't even know about it. So just be aware that this is an item that not all stores may carry. You got some cheap ass earmuffs there. I can't tell you how well they protect your hearing in the shop, but I can tell you they're better than nothing. That's one thing I am very bad about. I'm good with eye protection now that I've gotten a little older, but protecting my ears is one thing I never think about because you're only going to use that machine for a second, right? Yeah, that's how it always works out. The Impact Wobble Extension Set there is something I can recommend. I like the Wobble Extensions because you can push them down a little further and also have a straight extension if that's what you need. But that little bit of wobble, man, it comes in so handy in so many situations. And their brush set there for $4, three brushes, you can't beat it. That's something that's always going to constantly be wearing out in your shop. So you might as well pick them up when they're on sale. The Warrior Sawzall Blades over there, same advice. Don't bother with them. Spend the money on blades. It makes the job so much easier. And there is that portable abrasive sandblaster again. That thing haunts me because I still haven't bought it, but I haven't been restoring as many tools lately either. I've kind of got to a point where I have the amount of old tools I need or will use. But I always just get this feeling every time I see that little portable sandblaster that I would use it if I had it in my shop more than I ever thought I would. By the way, they just had the Pittsburgh 12-inch Crescent Wrench on sale for 5 bucks up there. I'm curious if anybody has used the new Doyle crescent wrenches if they're any good if they're worth the extra cost i probably won't end up buying them i've got plenty of crescent wrenches and some good quality ones at that so i don't really have a need for it but i am very curious how the new door line has been working out for people the clothesline there is something i always keep in my shop and these lifting slings is something i want to pick up for seven dollars man you would be surprised how much you can lift with a two inch sling and the yellow fish sticks over there for seven bucks to the right i have used those they do break they're very very flexible though which does come in handy when you're fishing walls so even though they they break they're a little bit more handy than the better client sets that are real stiff all the time so i'd say it's really best to have both and for seven dollars it's not going to break the bank the tube brush set for $5 isn't terrible, but I really think unless you need that extra long handle that that tube brush set offers, wait for the engine brush set to go on sale because those do come with an extension and they go from like quarter inch up to half inch brushes in three different style of brush material, steel, brass, and nylon, I think. I'm very happy with my set. It usually runs like 50% off when it does go on sale. And that's going to bring us to the end, folks. I appreciate y'all sticking around to the end. I hope you found some coupons that will help you this month or maybe in June when you finally get there, when we all get released back into the wild. But I apologize for the coupons coming out a little bit late. I put the video out as soon as I was able to gain access to them. But until next time, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button right there. We'll holler at y'all next time. Peace!